2022 has already struck by taking another soul from us, and that being Bob Saget. Bob Saget tragically passed away over the weekend, and not long after his passing, what does Twitter do? Oh, right. They start to slander his name. You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. Bob Saget tragically passed away over the weekend at the age of 65, and he was a Full House star, uh, you know, also uh, America's Funniest Home Video is kind of like, in a sense, um, YouTube before YouTube. Kind of funny if you think about it. Uh, and he was a comedian. I mean, he had <laughs> some really dirty, raunchy humor, but it was it was pretty good, you know. And a lot of people kind of knew him as, like, the sitcom dad. You know, he was kind of like their dad growing up. Yeah, and a lot of people really liked him. You know, great guy. And uh, very sad to see what happened, because, you know, his passing, seeing how he seemed like he was in good health, um, it was just so sudden, so very strange. Uh, 911 call reveals Full House legend Bob Saget, 65, was found by Orlando Hotel security, unresponsive in his bed. There was no foul play, nothing odd. He died in his sleep. Of course, we're still going to wait on that autopsy to come out, but it seems as if he was perfectly fine. You know, I mean, this is complete and total shock. Now, he did have one last post on Instagram, which was uh, him talking about how uh, he did enjoy the show that he was doing, which, you know, he's, or, well, he was on a comedy tour. That was what was going on, right? And uh, then this unfortunate event happened. So it's very sad to see this. Now, of course, many people are in mourning over this, you know, his family, people who uh, were close to him, you know, and people who enjoyed it. You know, a lot of mourning going on. You'd even see it on Twitter. And, and speaking of Twitter, though, because here's the thing. We got to go over to Twitter because a lot of the salt is going on over there. So looking at Twitter, what's the first thing that you can find? Very easily, in fact. Well, people are trying to slander his name, trying to run his name through the mud right after his death. Can't even let him rest in peace. No, no, they got to go after him. Because this is how disgusting these people on Twitter are. You know, right here saying, Just a reminder that Bob Saget was a pedo. Tried to say that he was a sex offender when, no, he wasn't. But, you know, they're trying to say all this stuff, you know, like this one. Literally, because people on my timeline are like crying because Bob Saget died. The man's a pedo and a creep and a fact that everyone in Hollywood knows is an inside joke is sick. God, these clowns on Twitter, man. They're the worst, most vile people. Like, good lord. You look at this one. So Bob Saget died and we are just going to ignore the fact that he assaulted literal children on the set of Full House? He's an offender. He deserves a burn in hell. What are you? An idiot sandwich. I mean, these people are stupid. And, you know, it's also been debunked. He was never, you know, an offender, as they're trying to make him out to be. Um, in fact, there were labor laws around child actors that they couldn't be there at all times so what they would do is that they would have like a lifelike doll to stand in during certain scenes when the children couldn't be there on set you know because mary kate and ashley olsen you know they were the youngest daughter they couldn't be there all the time due to these laws so they had the doll stand in now of course bob saget would make jokes with the doll you know which you know his humor he had dirty raunchy humor which is pretty hilarious so he would do like inappropriate jokes of the doll you know it's pretty funny stuff but of course twitter they can't take a joke they don't know what a joke is they don't even know the definition of a joke so of course they're like oh, it must be true when in reality it was a joke wasn't real but they don't get that because they can't joke so there was this article i am broken bob Saget's full house co-stars john samos mary kate and ashley olsen Candace Cameron Rear and Dave Coulier react to comedian shocking death, which, you know, they had some statements talking about how, you know, they were going to miss him and how, you know, they couldn't believe that this happened, that, you know, he was like the best person they had ever known, you know, or one of the best people. And that's the thing. You have Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen who had their own statement. Bob was the most loving, compassionate, and generous man. Mary Kate and Ashley said in a statement obtained by page six. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. Twitter's going to disregard this. They, they are not 
gonna bring this up and go, oh no, we were wrong, we were wrong, this, this is this is actually what we said. I'm gonna keep on just throwing shade at the man. I mean, it's just vile, it's disgusting. I mean, this is terrible. And it shows you what kind of people they are to keep doing things like this, to keep saying this stuff. You know, like this, like everybody marring about Bob Saget acting like he's not a offender. You're like, come on. I mean, my God, do your research. Understand that he didn't, you know, <laughs> he wasn't that kind of guy. And there's this right here. Okay, so Bob Saget was a Pino, a weirdo. Y'all can stop the fake sad tweets now. Mm. I mean, seriously, these people are absolutely pathetic. And knowing them, they probably don't even have a dime to their name, and they probably do nothing more than sit there and tweet about a thousand times a day and eat their expired cat food. I mean, these are the people that companies want to pander to. Keep that in mind. These are the people that they want to listen to. One person had a good point, saying, TikTok thinks Bob Saget uh, was an offender and a murderer because they discovered Gilbert Godfrey's roast set and think it's a news broadcast or something. Like I said, they don't know what a joke is. <laughs> they don't know what a joke is. In the modern day, it's like you can't make a joke without, like, somebody actually thinking that it's real. You know, it, it's funny because these companies always want to do, like, this safe humor crap. You know, like, whenever they try to do comedy, which is not funny at all either. And then it's like, you take offensive jokes, which... That's kind of what makes jokes funny is when you have offensive ones. And they want to just pull that out now. Because, oh, it's going to hurt someone's feelings. Oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, it's ridiculous. And all these people on Twitter, what, what's the one thing they love to do? They love to ruin anything or anybody that people enjoy. So, of course, Bob Saget passed away. And then they just see that as a free opportunity to bash him. To, you know, just slander him. And just say the most vile things they possibly can. I mean, this is disgusting. They did the same thing to Betty White. They did the same thing to Kobe when, you know, he passed away. You know, like, I mean, these are horrible people. Like, they're just disgusting people. And Bob Saget certainly didn't deserve any of that. You know, like, he wasn't a bad person. But they tried to portray him as if he was awful. I mean, it's... This is Twitter. This is Twitter in a nutshell. And I don't think anyone's shocked to see these clowns on there that live on Twitter... You know, they try to ruin things that people enjoy, do shit like this. I don't think anyone's shocked, but it's disgusting. Shouldn't have happened. Bob Saget, rest in peace. You will be missed. But anyways, let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you were new here. And make sure you were still subscribed because YouTube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels. So make sure you were still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Hit the video with a like and also be sure to share the video on social media. Spread the word to get it out there. It's greatly appreciated and it really helps out the channel a lot. Also, be sure to follow me on both Discord and Minds. We have a wonderful community there. Not only that, but it will keep you up to date on when the newest videos will be released, as well as any other upcoming events in the near future. So be sure to follow me on both Discord and Minds. The links are in the description down below. But anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.